So you go to school, that's let's say uh, elementary school, and uh, you get bullied and treated like garbage because you're different. Maybe you're a little fatter, maybe you're a little stupider, maybe you're not the right skin color compared to the majority of other students. Maybe there's, maybe you're just a little effeminate because you know you're still a boy or a girl, and or maybe you're a little tomboyish if you're a girl, whatever. And people just call you fag and gay, and they beat you up. Even though, ironically enough, in a few years they'll be experimenting with their sexuality, and uh, you know, then they'll say, "Oh, well, gays have the right to marry and shit," but yet they bully you and call you a faggot. Does that make sense? No. You know, I I I deplore homosexuals. I think homosexuality is the and I would never call someone gay as an insult because that's insinuating that they're a bad person. So unless I know they're doing the bad deed, I'm not going to associate them with that. But that's how you will get treated in school, and it gets worse. You will then go to high school, and you will be bombarded with homework, and the teachers will just stop caring about you. They don't care about your, ed your education. They don't care about your, you as a person. Your school is like a fucking prison cell. There's barbed wire to keep you inside. God forbid you should play hooky. Uh, you know, there's metal detectors, and the bullies get even worse. Not only do they physically abuse you, now they psychologically abuse you. It's traumatic because peer pressure exists now, and, and you lose friends over it, and you know, you think you know somebody, and then they stab you in the back, and, and girls don't like you, and you have all these hormones, and you can't get them out because you, you're sexually frustrated, and then you begin to question your sexuality because, oh, people called me gay, and girls don't like me, <laughs> you know, it gets worse. Uh, you know, you get in your later 20s, and uh, you're still living with your parents, they, you know, they, they don't hate you, but you feel like a failure because they're telling you, hey, you need to get out on your own. You need to do something with your life. But you can't because college is too expensive and college is bullshit too. The teachers care even less about you. It's all about the fucking money. You know, they only want to educate you enough to get their money and then push you out into the street and you're not guaranteed a job. You're not guaranteed anything. And you know, you got these college debts or maybe you just couldn't get into a good college to begin with. And there's still the peer pressure of partying with people that don't give a crap about you, and they're still calling you gay and shit, and they're bullying you, and it just never goes away. It gets worse. You see, because then you get a job, and it's probably a dead-end job that you're never going to move up in in the world because you weren't born into the right family. You weren't rich. You weren't uh, super talented. And even if you were talented, it might not guarantee you anything because talent doesn't matter. All that matters is the people you know and the origins that you come from. If you weren't born rich or you know new p rich people to exalt you, you ain't getting dick out of life. And you know you're gonna flip burgers for the next next 30 40 years and you know people are going to look down on you it's it's your fault you're it's it's your fault you weren't able to go to the right school it's your fault that you never developed friends because everyone's a dickhead it's your fault that you know you don't get paid more even though you have no control over your wage you can't even fucking form a union if you even say the word union you could get fired and you know you just have all the stress and it gets worse because then you're like in your 40s and you got all these bills to pay and credit cards and mortgages and, and everything like that and you're pressured into being you know having nice things even though you can't afford it and there's no why do you need them you don't need all this shit and you probably have kids and you got to worry about them you got to worry about their education and their problems because now they're getting abused in school because they're in you know elementary or high school or however early you had your kids and you know they're telling you you're a bad parent because you don't do things the way they do it and you're trying your best but you don't know what the fuck you're doing who does and you know you're trying not to be abusive you love your kids you love them with all your heart but sometimes that's just not enough and you don't know what your kids are going to turn out to be they might be total fucktards uh, you know they're, they're just stupid and they make stupid de decisions and you can't be held responsible for that because you don't know what they're doing all the time you're not a mind reader and you have to hope that they're responsible enough to at least do the right thing when it comes to that and so you got you just got all this sh shit going on and it gets worse because then you're like in your 60s or 70s and they're jacking up the social security age even more and you don't 
get what you need and you have to live back in with your kids who can't afford to provide for you. They can barely afford to provide for themselves. And, you know, they're treating you like you're already dead. They wish you were dead because you're no longer useful to them. You're no longer working. You're no longer their slave, their bitch in school. And you're just, you're in pain. You have a bad hip. You have cancer. You have, you know, problems because you're old. And old people have problems. And it gets worse. You get even older. And you know you're about to die. And you think back on all the things you could have done and didn't. And you start to blame yourself. You start to actually believe that you are this horrible person. That everything was your fault. And that, you know, if people would just work harder, oh, yeah, everything would be better. And you start to realize how short your life is and how there might not be an afterlife regardless of your religion you might not have anything to look forward to when you die there might not be a spiritual existence and you have to come to terms with that loss of your ego and that loss of your sentience and that is a lot to take in and combine that with even if you do have believe in an afterlife have you are you that person are you good enough and respected enough as, by God to deserve the afterlife uh, you know and there's all these questions that you're you're plagued with and it, and it puts pressure upon you and there's nothing you can do about it not only do you not have any control over what happens beyond death you had no control over your life you have no control over anything you've spent the na last 90 years just in a daze just getting raped one time after another and it probably gets worse after that because then you're dead and God only knows what happens after that probably something bad. That's it.